Hey, what's up? It's Rick D's. Look at this. Can we hold this up? I'm the boot boy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the boot boy. This is the boot girl. I'm sorry. I just stepped on your toe. The boot toe. girl with no boots. That's right. These are incredible. These are the boot girls. Now, there are 13 of them now. Started with five, right, Ginger? Well, we're, we're just still at five, yes. Five. Okay. <laughs> this is Maria. And what we're doing is trying to get you to get your boots on. Most comfortable shoes I have ever worn. Now, they're $130 reduced from $750. Okay. <laughs> these are the real military boots. So if you, there's a real military feel on these, but you can run in them. You can walk in them. They feel great in the cold, in the hot. They're, they're, I don't know what they're made of, but they feel very, very lightweight. Real leather. Real leather, but extremely lightweight. The best fashion statement you can make. And let me just say this. I'm going to wear mine every day. Get your boots on. Come to rig.com. Who are the boot girls? So I did some research, went online, Googled and everything, and I found this boot campaign that is wonderful. Get your boots on. And I have to be honest, I love the military. I uh, have, a, have a very, very deep, warm feeling for, for people, women and men, who will go out and put their lives on the line for us. And the least I feel I could do to get back is to use my tongue and my mouth and talk about it on the radio and all around the world and at rig.com. So I did. So I got my boots on and it's the most fun I've ever had. How does it feel? How did you feel when you put those boots on for the first time? When I put these boots on the first time, I wanted to run. You know, <laughs> I, <wanted> to <laughs> I don't know, but I've been told. <laughs> Ricky D's has a big radio show. <laughs> Whatever. But <laughs> It was just it was just a feeling of, hey, I'm, I'm part of the force, I'm part of the team. And that's what you feel like. First of all, they feel great. Very, very lightweight, although they're leather. But the components used are all of the highest technology. And uh, I don't know what it is. They just, you want to wear these. They feel good and they make a statement. Do you actually have any military connections in your family or friends? Or? You know, my dad was a captain in the army. And... He served in World War II, and he, he came back from the military, and he gave me something very special from, from Italy when he was traveling there. And it was, it was his collection of, of naked photos. That is an amazing collection, I'm sure. One that, that's really priceless, I'm sure. Yes. No, actually, my, my dad gave me a love for the military. Silence in the room. Yeah, yeah. Mary Beth just dropped. I'm like, what can we move on? Uh, okay. No, actually, my dad came back from the military, and he gave me this little wooden boat that is my most prized possession. Mm -hmm. It was... It was made out of just wood that had been on the ground in a prisoner of war camp. And an Italian prisoner of war took this, these pieces of wood and fashioned this little, like a rowboat, out of mahogany and ash and pine and tiny little pieces of metal he fashioned into nails and put the boat together. I've never seen craftsmanship mm -hmm. like that in my life and I have it on my desk at home. It is my most prized possession because it's my connection with my dad. Sounds awesome.